welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what is in my school bag for 2020. And this year I'm going into sixth form, so year 12. I think that's 11th grade in America. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to go back to school. I miss all my friends so much. And obviously not all of them will be there because it's like a year where you either go sixth form or college or apprenticeship or whatever. Um, so not everyone's gonna be there, but most of my friends will be there and I'm so excited to see them. I'm gonna be showing you obviously what is my school bag. So first of all, the school bag itself is a Kanken bag and this is actually the extra large one and as you can see it's in a grey blue colour um, it looks more blue on the picture before I bought it but it's definitely like a grey blue and in fact I got this off of Depop I think I got it for £23 and it's a legit one, it's a real one um, and I love it, it's great so as you can see first of all I have got two water bottles in the side and you're probably thinking why on earth have you got two water bottles is that necessary? well Actually, this one here is my Mean Girls one from when I saw Mean Girls the Musical in New York. Um, and I got it from the theatre. Uh, it was about $20, which is very, very pricey, to be honest, in my opinion, for a water bottle. But yeah, that's where I got this one from, and I keep my water in here. And then the other side, I have this rose gold one, and this is actually what I keep tea in. So I don't take tea to school every single day. I take it now and again. Um, I'm planning to take it in either once a week or once every two weeks when I go back. But um, I love, love tea, and I think when I'm at school, it's so nice. Um, you might not be allowed at your school, I'm not sure, but it's really nice to have a warm drink for me um, in the day it like kind of makes me feel a bit better less stressed if I've had a stressful day um, so it's, I love having my tea so keep that so there's yeah obviously two pockets in the sides to keep the water bottles in and um, I heard that actually the Kanken bags pockets for water bottles weren't that very big however they do fit these chilli bottles in perfectly oh and this one was from Wilco's and it was only five pounds so uh, I think that's pretty brilliant to be honest this lasted me at least six months and the Mean Girls one has lasted me well over a year like almost a year and a half so definitely good quality first of all before we go into the main section of the bag we're going to go into this front pocket right here and this is probably more things in it and it's more full than the actual bag itself um, but this big pocket in the front is massive and that's great because like I said it's already full and I haven't even got to school yet so first thing packet of Kleenex tissues the balsam ones um, just in case I need it then I've got my Tangle Teaser this is a rose gold pinky shiny glittery one and oh my gosh my mum got this for me about a year ago and I was just like look at this it's amazing um and it's just perfect because this is a travel one has this little lid to put on the bottom so the bristles don't get bent and it doesn't get ruined in your bag great for if you need to put your hair up for pe or something um it's really handy all right next we've got perfumes so i'm only going to actually take one of these um i think i'm going to take this ted baker one this is the ted baker body spray I'm not sure which one, like which uh, scent it is, it doesn't actually say, but it's the one with the white lid. Um, this is actually like a plasticky bottle, so it's not going to break in your bag and it's quite light. Whereas this one is actually a glass bottle, this says, hello sweetheart on it, and this is a Primark one. Um, I got it for Christmas, but I think it might be like a £1 or £2 or something, so just like a, a bit of a cheaper alternative to the Ted Baker one, if you want a perfume in your bag. I just keep it in my bag for after pee or something, in case I've got a little bit sweaty and I want to freshen up, so I just add a bit of perfume. And um, yeah, but this is probably the one I'm going to be keeping. I have no idea how much these are, but I don't think they're too much. I think you can get them from Boots for like £5 or probably even less, but yeah, these are really good. Alright, then I've got my inhaler, because I do have asthma but not really don't really need to talk about that um that's just in that front pocket then i've got airpods um i've never actually taken my airpods to school before so i'm gonna be very careful but i do have my bag with me at all times so yeah these are actually john's but he is letting me borrow them at the moment but i think i might be getting my own soon possibly uh so yeah i'll probably take this to school because on the way back from school i walk to my mum's work which isn't that far away from my school and i love to listen to podcasts or i watch youtube and stuff so taking these i used to just take my wire earphones but these are so much easier okay and then i think the final thing in the front pocket is this glittery emergency kit and um, i wasn't sure whether to do a separate video on showing you what's in here and i thought no i'll just combine it into this video um and it's super super sparkly it's really cool i'm so sorry i'm not sure where this is actually from but it's 
really nice uh it's a bit scratchy though so i probably won't put my phone in the front pocket with this because i don't want the screen to get scratched inside my emergency kit bag slash essentials bag i have got obviously hand sanitizer we need hand sanitizer at the minute just to be on the safe side i've just got five pounds in case just like an emergency bit of money in case i need any money at school then a nail file because my nails sometimes break and when i haven't got one with a nail file with me oh my goodness i just can't stand it because i end up like picking my nail to try and get it to like not be rough and then it just makes it worse so nail files are so handy and no, no one ever has them so i'm gonna be prepared <laughs> Next up is this, I think it's Flutter is the brand, um, lip balm. It's got a little zebra on the front and this is my new favourite lip balm. Honestly it is. And it's actually suitable for vegans and vegetarians which is great. Pretty sure it's cruelty free as well. So it's just perfect and I love the smell. I think it might be strawberry or something like that. It's so good. I've actually used quite um, a bit of it and I love this lip balm. So definitely be taking this. You can get this in a set of like a lip scrub and a lip balm. I'm pretty sure it's like a pound or something from Superdrug. So I definitely recommend getting these. They are amazing for making your lips feel super soft. I've got uh, some pads in case I need them. And also a panty liner because I might need that as well. But then I've got a scrunchie and two black hair bubbles because if i'm in pe and i forgot to tie her hair up which happens so many times in school and no one ever has hair bubbles then you can lend one if you need to because obviously i've got two and my scrunchie then this doesn't leave as much of a mark in my hair like a little dip or anything compared to using one of these then i've got some gum so this is not for school because i'm not allowed gum at my school so i won't be having this like during the day but this is actually for when i'm walking home sometimes i get a bit bored or like i'm a bit hungry but i can't really eat and walk at the same time so i just take a bit of gum and this is the bubble mint one the extra bubble mint and this is one of my favorite flavors my favorite is actually cool breeze but they only had the bubble mint one like in my eye view when I was at the tills and I was like, I'm gonna get some gum. And that one was right there. So I thought, <laughs> better get that one. All right, so the main part of the bag is what we're gonna move on to next. So it actually has this clip that you do up um, for these two straps, you don't have to do it up. However, it's quite handy because then you can carry it like this when you're moving, I don't know, from lesson to lesson or whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the back. It's got two big adjustable straps. So I like to have them quite tight. I don't want to have it like loose on my back because that's can be quite bad for your back. It's better to have them tighter and higher up on your back. And here we are. This is the main compartment. So let's go through it bit by bit. First of all, I've got my pencil case, which I have actually shown in my stationery haul. In fact, most of the stuff inside this part of the bag was in my stationery haul, which if you haven't already checked out, go check it out. It's actually had quite a lot of views recently, so thank you so much for that. It really means a lot. I've got this lovely lilac pencil case with silver shiny splatters on it. I'm in love with this pencil case. This was from WH Smiths and definitely recommend it. It was a bit pricey, to be honest, for what it is, but... It's a lovely soft material, so I love this. Second thing is my pucker pad. Again, was in the stationery haul from WH Schmitz, and it's got these dividers in it, just really handy. It's a big notebook, and this is gonna be in my bag every single day because I need a notebook, like a rough book, basically, to make notes. And I'm hoping this is gonna last me the whole year because it's got so many pages in it. Next up is this plastic wallet. Now, this was from Wilco's quite a few years ago, and I haven't actually used it yet, but I've had this for years and years. It's got some lovely pink, green, orangey flowers on it, and then it has got this cute pattern at the top of some two girls with their little dogs. I think it's outside a cafe in Paris. And then these beautiful love hearts here. This is actually to keep all of my loose letters and papers in that I need to like give to my mum at the end of the day. Or I don't want to forget to hand in to the school office or something. So this is what this is going to be for. Then I've got a folder. This again is in my stationery hall. I haven't actually put any of my work in it yet. I'm going to do that in the next few weeks. And it's got all these clear plastic wallets. And then a couple of dividers just spaced out throughout. I can actually fit three lever arch folders in that Kankum bag. Pretty impressive, right? I literally tried it the other day. I could actually fit four in it. But uh, if you put four in it, then I couldn't quite do the zip up. Because the bag has such a square style, as you can see, it's very square in the corners. It fits folders in it better than anything. So I'm very happy that I can fit three lever arch folders in it because I have 
I'm going to be doing four subjects, um, three A levels and then one AS level. So I'm going to need four folders. So most of the time, if I've only got three subjects, like a day, because um, we have like free periods and stuff, if I only have three subjects, then I'll be able to fit all my folders in this bag and I won't have to carry any in my arms and get our make. And the last thing in my bag is really the least interesting thing in there, but it's this high vis jacket. Wow. It's coming up so high vis on the camera right now because of my ring light. But this is actually because, like I said, I walked to my mum and John's work after school and it's on like a, I don't know what you call it, where the factories are and like the lorries go down and stuff. So I have to wear this once I get on site because it can be quite dangerous. You want all vehicles to be able to see you. So I have to wear this. So I have to keep this in my bag ready for after school. And that is literally it for what is in my school bag. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to say thank you so much. I'm pretty sure by the time this video is up I will be on 300 subscribers and wow I can't explain how much that means to me I do not do this for subscribers in any way at all I do YouTube because I absolutely love it it's a passion of mine every time I think about getting the camera out or um, filming something or editing something or anything YouTube related this adrenaline rush goes through me because I get so excited YouTube is just such a huge part of my life now and although I know a lot of people do have more subscribers than me and so you might think oh you're only a small YouTuber it can't be like that big of a deal to your life but honestly it is it's a way I can express myself I'm almost at 300 subscribers basically and I just want to say thank you so so much to every single one of you who subscribe you have no idea how much it means to me 300 was actually my new year's goal and I wanted to reach that by the end of 2020 and here we are in August and I'm reaching that goal which is absolutely incredible so let's try and get to 500 subscribers by the the end of 2020 i know we can do it i know we can do it i'm working my absolute hardest on my youtube at the minute most of my time is taken up by youtube because i'm just wanting it to be amazing i want to be feel feel really really proud of my content and i definitely am at the moment and i'm not afraid to say that because i think it's good to pick yourself up every now and again because i'm so proud of my editing at the minute i've been trying super super hard with it and so yeah just want to say thanks so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you again soon bye